Do I even remember how to do this? Oh gosh, let me put on some lip gloss. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Am I standing? <laughs> Hi babes, welcome back to another video. It's been so long. I feel like I ain't talked to y'all in forever. Hey, you don't know who I am? I'm Alanya. Soon, we're not even gonna get into that. We'll talk about it later. I'm gonna be doing a wash and go today. I haven't done a wash and go in a kind of long time. We're gonna be using some OG products. One is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. And the other is some Wet Line Extreme Gel. I'm not gonna be talking about my hair while I do my hair, so just know that I'm using those two products. I'm also gonna be using my Demon brush. I'm just gonna go section by section, applying the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, brushing it, applying the gel, brushing it, scrunching it, and moving on to the next section. So, let's get into this life update. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, why I'm just going down my back? I ain't got no mirror to look at. What are you doing, Alanya? First off, my hair length is crazy. My hair touches my waist for the most part. I got it straightened on February 29th. Probably gonna straighten my hair again during like the fall or winter months just because having it straight was cool and it was also hot when I had my hair straight. So like it lasted really good with it being hot. I wore my hair straight for like, what, a month and a half? For like six weeks. I got a job, y'all. I work at my local Walmart. It's not bad. It's honestly a pretty good job. This is also my first job. I do online grocery and pickup. You know, this isn't something that's gonna be a long time. This is just something to get me some money so that I can move out of my parents' home. I honestly plan to do that by September of 2022. So about one more year. I do plan on getting back into YouTube consistently. Of course, I'm not gonna make any promises because there's been multiple times where I have said that I was going to come back and I haven't done it. I'm the last time I got up here and just sat and talked. I'm the last time I came up here and did my hair for y'all. It's just all about how I manage my time. I want to be superwoman, but I know I cannot be superwoman. We reached um, 1.6 subscribers. Um, actually, like two or three days ago, I checked it. And that's without me posting anything, y'all. And y'all might think that you've been on YouTube that long and you only have 1,600 subscribers. And the answer is yes. Not just because I was not consistent. I was really consistent when I started YouTube, what, four years ago? I was making videos every single day. Look at my hair, y'all. Like, my hair. I can't even get it all on the camera for real, for real. Can y'all see that? My hair touches my belly button. I was uploading literally every two days. I was posting, posting, posting with nobody to listen. I was consistent. Then I got into Gov School. And if you don't know what Gov School is from watching some of my previous videos, it's the Governor School of South South Virginia Community College. It's pretty much being a college student in high school, but not only taking college classes at um your high school it's not just that it's actually going to going to a community college and taking classes under professors and that was very rigorous and very tiring i did sports in high school i did cheer i did tennis and it was a lot because cheer takes a lot of time and effort we had practices for two to four hours after school we had one to three games every week. Most of the time we had two to three. Some games would last until nine, 10 o'clock at night. Sometimes they were away games and I wouldn't get home so super late. Of course there's what I had to do after practice. Sometimes there's time where I had to go home and make up cheers to record videos for people who were not at practice or help out my teammates who needed help with things. And I had to do that after hours. I'd go to my cheermate's house. I would help them create dance routines. There's just was a lot that went into it and cheer was my main priority. Especially since cheer was my calm in the middle of the storm, y'all. Especially staying up late. There's been times where I come home from the game and I go to sleep at 2 a.m. because I had to finish an assignment. There's been times where I went to sleep at 2 a.m. because I had to finish reading a book that I had to talk about in class the next day. Times where I stayed up till 3 to finish a paper. It was a lot and it took a lot out of me to do that. And I applaud the people who had a job and went to government school. A lot of times my mom would ask me like hey like you sure you want to share in this game tonight like you sure that you got everything together and I kept telling her like no matter what I'm going to that 
game. Like I'm gonna get everything done. I'm gonna try my hardest. And junior year was a struggle for me. And senior year was a struggle for me too, but I got A's in all my classes senior year. I brought my GPA up. My GPA was not bad, but I was always a 4.0 child. I'm glad that I did what I did because of my viewpoint on school right now. And let me get into that. If you guys do not know, I attend Howard University. I do have a previous video up on my channel about my first thoughts. It's just a whole video, y'all. I'll link it in the iCard. Of course, people say that school is not for everybody and that type of thing. But everybody says that until it's a kid that no one expected to, to not go to school or something like that. People always say that to the kids who didn't do well in high school. They say that to those kids just so they don't feel like an outlier, so they feel um, supported and things like that. But then when it comes to the children who did extremely well in high school and they have those feelings. It's always said until it's one of those kids and I am that kid. A lot of people say that you feel that way because you didn't get the full experience yet. Once you go on campus, you'll feel the HBC vibe and you're gonna love it. Honey, I don't think I'm gonna get that. It took a lot in me to have that conversation with my parents. I broke down boo boo crying telling my parents that I did not want to go to school. And honestly, it was just so hard because I know that they have high expectations for me, just like how everyone does. Everyone in my community sees me as the girl who always got straight A's, who her mom brags about and loves and adores. Everyone knows that I'm a all-star, straight A, all about her stuff student. Knowing that, I feel a lot of pressure on myself to please not only my family, but everybody in my community. It's a hard path to take. I have no advice when it comes to that because it took me so long to talk about it. I had talked about it with my two best friends like so many times before they just told me along you, you have to tell them. I know or I feel, no, I know. I know that there are high expectations set upon me. Anytime I talk to somebody in my family, they're asking about school. My thing about school is that I hated it. I don't think that going on campus will make this any better. I don't think being at home make this any better. I was honestly excited to not go on campus just because I have extreme social anxiety, literally to the point where I can cry because I don't want to go somewhere. And it was really bad too when I started work. I had never had a job before. I got to interact with customers every day. I work at Walmart, y'all. I was like really excited to be at home doing school because I could be in the comforts of my own home. I did not have to go to class, interact with people, figure out this, deny people that I didn't want to be in clubs. It was a dream come true, you know? Like, yay COVID for the first time ever, yay COVID. I keep dropping hair products on my bed, y'all. As the semester went on, it was just like, nah, this ain't it, Chief. A lot of people say that maybe it's just Howard. Maybe you need to switch schools. Maybe, you know, you get a different feel somewhere else, try a different HBCU. Honestly, I do not think that that will make a difference. <laughs> On one hand, do I go with what I feel in my gut to do? Or do I try another school to see if that's the case? Do I keep trying at Howard and go on campus to see if that works? But if it don't work, I'm stuck there. Honestly, I wanted to drop out mid-semester. My parents were like, at least finish out the semester. So that's what I did. Once you start the semester, you're not gonna wanna just stop <laughs> mid-semester, especially since I'm not the one paying for my schooling. <laughs> I got some scholarships, but it's not enough to pay for our university. Just like, dang, like really, what do I do? I say this, but I know I'm gonna sit here and reconsider it again and again and again. You're the only person, or I'm the only person who lives my life. You're the only person who lives your life. You can't go off of what other people want for you. You have to go off what you want for yourself, what you want to do with your life, what direction you want to take. And honestly, if I get a bachelor's degree, you know what I'm gonna do with it? Nothing, girl. Or boy, or guy, he, she, him, they, there. I 
feel like I am the only person who can live my life. I can't let other people, how other people's view of my life make decisions for me. I can't let other people live through me. I need to make decisions that I think is best for me. And then at the same time, it's like, do I know what's best for me? How does everybody else know what's best for me? Honestly, my mental health was so trash when I was in school. Literally trash. At what point do you choose you? Well, at what point do I choose me? <laughs> I'm talking to y'all like, y'all need to hear this. But I'm pretty sure somebody out there can use what I'm saying. This is probably the moment where I choose me over everybody. I did reach out to people at Johnson & Wales just to kind of weigh my options because I had a $24,000 scholarship there. And that's better than paying way more at HU if I decided to try somewhere else because Johnson & Wales was my first choice. Just going through that process again is just reminding me how draining it was to go through it the first time. And this is like, uh-uh. Can't see that through. But on my business page for TikTok, I have 11.5K, I wanna say it is that right now. I have 11.5K. Strangers are my biggest supporters on TikTok. TikTok is so much better on Instagram in terms of supporters and stuff like that. Like I let my hair air dry for like two or three hours after I finished. I just hit the diffuser on my hair for medium heat but high intensity. Diffusing it broke the um, gel cast on my hair so my hair is soft. There's some frizzy curls but there's super defined curls in here as well. And this is just how wash and goes look on my hair now. Like my hair comes down to my boobs with a wash and go. My hair just looks long and curly. It doesn't have volume, it doesn't look like a fro anymore. And another update for y'all, I really want to cut and dye my hair. I'm gonna go get it professionally done if I decide to do it. And I'll definitely be going more towards the Hampton Roads or DC or Raleigh area. Thank you for watching and catching up with me. Be blessed, be safe, be humble. I feel so good to say that again. It's a cool, cool word out there, y'all. Stay safe, mask up, be careful. I see y'all next one. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Oh, I've got to tell y'all, I'm gonna be changing my channel name.